Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to load images onto your IQ tablet for picture pattern. So this is my Macintosh screen here. I'm going to connect my IQ thumb drive to my computer and it will pop up. There it is, Green IQ mine's called, so I'm going to open that up. Now the first thing I have to do is create a folder on here named Images. So I'm going to go up here, New Folder, there's my new folder and I'm going to call it Images, all lowercase. Okay, so there it is, Images. So now I'm going to choose the photo to put in that folder, the photo I want to try stitching out. And I've got one here on my desktop, which is a, the photograph of my sister. So I'm just going to drag it over to the Images folder and drop it in. And I'll just open that folder to make sure it's in there. Yes, there it is, Brown 09 copy. Good. So if I, um, well, maybe I want to try this one too. I've got a picture of a cow here. I'm going to drag that over as well. Um, So now I have two images in my images images folder. You can put in as many as you as you like. That cow is a um, a photograph of a print by Ed Mel. Which uh, so down here I'm going to um, eject my thumb drive. Now I can pull it out of here. Now I'm going to turn on IQ, which I. Second or two to start up. Here it comes. When you're choosing images to turn into stitchable patterns, it's often best to choose the uh, pictures with a lot of good contrast. Um, but the only way you'll find out if it's going to work is to actually load something and and try it out and see what happens. So here's my IQ starting up. I've got it in demo mode, but you can load image, images when it's on the machine too. So I'm going to go design, sew, quilt, start new. And over here on the right we have picture pattern, so that's what I'm going to choose. Then it says, how do you want to define the block? So I've got to put a block in where the pattern is going to go. Um, I'm just going to leave it 10 by 10. Continue. Finished. And now it says, select the image you want to use. You can see I've already got a lot of images in my catalog. But I know I've got some here on my thumb drive I want to load. So here's the button, load image. It says, insert the USB. It's looking for those images. There it is. It says remove the USB and touch back. And if I scroll down, I will find Brown09. Oh, there's the cow. There's Brown09. That's the one I just loaded. If I want to turn it into a stitchable pattern, then I will touch generate. Oh, let's do that. Let's see what happens. Um, and you can see it's done a very rough um, generation. You can change the number of lines, all kinds of things here. I'm not going to play with those right now. Um, the release notes for this software version uh, have some very good illustrations of the different effects you can get. Um, I just wanted to show you how to load the images. So there you go, have fun playing with picture pattern.